I'm incredibly pleased that the latest data tells us that we are able to proceed with a full return of schools and colleges from Monday the 8th of March. As we outlined earlier this week, primary school pupils will return to school on that day, while secondary schools and colleges will be able to stagger their return over that week to ensure all their students can be offered COVID tests. Wraparound childcare for primary and secondary school pupils will also resume from the 8th of March. University students who are studying practical courses who need specialist facilities can also return to campus from then on too. We'll review the timing for return of the remaining students by the end of the Easter holidays. Despite everyone's best efforts, many children are going to need longer term support if they're to make the edu educational progress that they need. This is why the Prime Minister and myself appointed our Education Recovery Commissioner, Sir Kevin Collins, to advise on how our early year settings, as well as our schools and colleges, can address these learning gaps as quickly and as comprehensively as possible. But because young people just cannot afford to wait, we're putting in place a, a range of immediate measures for schools to start now to recover lost learning. Today we're announcing the introduction of a new one-off £302 million recovery premium for state primary and secondary schools, building on the pupil premium to further support pupils who need it most. We're expanding our successful tutoring programmes. £200 million will fund an extended national tutoring programme for primary and secondary schools. An extension to the 16 to 19 tuition fund to support more students in English, maths and other vocational and academic subjects and funding to support language development in early years children. Finally, £200 million will be available for secondary schools to deliver face-to-face -face summer schools. Schools will be able to target individual pupils' needs. This means that if your child needs extra help, then they are able to get it. For example, a block of tutoring can help a child gain three to five months of catch-up in learning. We know our teachers are best placed to understand what your children will need so they'll have the tools to deliver that extra boost and make a real difference as we recover from this pandemic. Uh, so on, um, on the summer holidays what we've done in terms of a £200 million programme is we're wanting schools to be putting on great activities whether it's edu uh, education led or even sort of well-being led so we'd be hoping that schools can be offering that draw down that funding in order to be offer offering that to child children so yes we would hope that schools are offering uh, time uh, in schools for children um, and that's why we've put the funding there. In terms of, uh, you ask about lengthening the school days as part of uh, uh, this plan, it's not a part of a plan in terms of lengthening school days, but as I've touched on in the past, what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to see a real change, a step change in what we can deliver in terms of our schools. That's why we're taking this in-depth look at how do we drive results, how do we drive attainment, how do we drive the... Uh, the chances of youngsters from the most disadvantaged backgrounds. And that's why we've asked Sir Kevin to do this extensive look uh, at education and what reforms, what changes we can bring about. Well, as I've uh, said many times before, we're putting our trust in teachers. Uh, that's where the trust is going. There's going to be no algorithms whatsoever, but there'll be a very clear and robust appeals mechanism. But I'm afraid you're going to have to forgive me. Uh, it's right that this is announced to the House of Commons and uh, not to yourself. Um, so sorry about that, Dan, but that will be happening tomorrow. So just a, a few more hours to wait.